Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel where we talk fashion and beauty for women over 30. Today I want to bring you guys this video which is going to focus on fall fashion trends of 2020 but they are going to be designer dupes. I wanted to do this video because a lot of times you will see videos that talk about fall fashion trends or trendy items and they tend to focus on designer items or very high-end luxury items. Every time that there's a trend you don't want to necessarily spend a lot of money or you may not have a lot of money to spend on a trend but you may still want to be able to enjoy the trend so my goal for this video is to show you dupes now by dupes i do not mean replicas we are not going to be talking about fake chanel purses and fake louis vuitton bags that's not what the video is intended to do what it is intended to do however is to show you how you can still capture the essence of a trend with similarly constructed items made of good quality but at a lower price point than a, maybe a more well-known high-end designer brand. Now, also I wanna say, this is not gonna be bottom basement Walmart prices. You cannot get a dupe for something that is as well-constructed as say the popular Prada boot for $19.99. You're not going to get actual leather that's constructed well that's going to stand up to wear and tear the seasons being worn outside when it's raining potentially you're not going to get that in a twenty dollar boot so that's not what we're focusing on either but i think there is a really really nice middle ground and we're going to explore that today okay the first item is going to be this bottega bag the bag in and of itself is absolutely beautiful it's beautifully constructed but if you notice what i think is the essence of the trend is this kind of quilting and this kind of weaved design that you see on the bag. Now there have been multiple versions of it that have become popular in the last few months, I would say. And I think when you look at all of those combined, it's really the quilting and it's really the size of the bag and then that chain detailing that you see on the handle. So that is what I focused on when I went out to find a dupe. Now let's talk about some of the things about the Bottega bag. First of all, it is $2,800. Everybody can't afford that. Even if someone can't afford it, they just may not choose to spend $2,800 on a bag. Perfectly fine either way. We got a dupe for you. The bag is lambskin. It's obviously extremely well constructed, meaning the stitching is not gonna be something that's gonna give on you. The chain is gonna be of really high quality. It's heavy. It is also not gonna be something that's gonna snap or pop or anything like that that you may experience with a cheap bag. It has gold finish hardware and it is called the padded cassette bag but like I said there's been multiple versions so there's also the quilted one and then there's this one that's the more I think recent kind of offering from Bottega in this style. I looked at some uh, more mid price range um i looked at some more mid-range priced i don't know mid-price range mid-range price whatever <laughs> brands to see if i could find something that is just as trendy because you don't want just a plain bag that's well constructed if it's the trend that caught your eye so what i found was this michael kors bag that i think is very similar people have their issues with michael kors some people love michael kors some people hate it some people think he knocks off higher end brand um, styles too frequently whatever i personally think their business model is brilliant because it does allow people who may not be able to spend say twenty eight hundred dollars on a bag to get a very well constructed bag in a more reasonable price range for their particular budget and again these are this is like you know reasonable to you may not be reasonable to me so it's all relative but this bag i think captures that quilting really nicely it has the chain detail as well on the strap and even though people have their issues with michael kors the truth of the matter is that he produces really really high-end designer pieces made from extremely high quality material and he also allows a lot of that to trickle down into the lower price items that they do offer, meaning you're gonna get a well-constructed bag at the end of the day. So the Michael Kors bag is leather. It has gold tone hardware. So remember that the Bottega bag had gold finish hardware, so this has gold tone hardware. Now, this bag comes in at $298.50, so roughly $300, you gotta add in taxes and then shipping if you're gonna order this online. This is the Soho quilted bag. If you look at the size difference, there are multiple Soho quilted bags. I chose to look at the extra large bag because the dimensions of it are the most similar to the Bottega bag. This is obviously not a $3,000 bag, it's a $300 bag, but it is going to give you the essence of that trend that you really may be in love with from the $2,800 Bottega bag. The next fall fashion trend that is everywhere is the Prada boot. 
Now this Prada boot that is currently kind of all the rage is more of a, um, a Chelsea style boot in that the height of the boot is not the same as the prior boot that was really, really popular. That boot came up to like the mid, I would say the mid calf, depending on how tall you are. And it had the two pouches on it. Whereas this latest offering, like I said, is more of a Chelsea boot. So it's lower. It's more like an ankle boot or a little bit higher than an ankle boot. And it just has the one pouch, which is removable. Love the boot itself. It's basically a flat lug sole type, chunky, chunky boot which is really trendy right now obviously comfortable if you don't want to be in heels all the time this is a great fashion for alternative this particular boot is fourteen hundred dollars it's not super expensive but again everybody doesn't have or doesn't want to spend fourteen hundred dollars on a trend the boot is um, cowhide leather obviously it's made by Prada so you're going you're going to be getting that type of quality in this type of a boot it comes in black and I think they now have a more current version that's really recently released that's like a brown and a black but I wanted to focus Focus on the black one because I think that's the one most people are going to be familiar with now what I did was I found two dupes for this one and they actually both were on Shopbop. one is by a brand called last and one is by a brand called ash and I think that they capture again the essence of this trend the first one is going to be cowhide leather so you're still getting a leather boot meaning if you are outside and it starts raining you don't have to panic because it's a leather boot it's going to be able to withstand some of the elements that you might be in it has a rubber sole and it has that same chunkiness to it and this particular boot is three hundred and thirty dollars and comes in that same really nice black so it's going to give you again the essence of this trend the other boot is calfskin leather so again you're getting good quality it has a rubber sole as well and this one is two hundred and sixty dollars so you're going to be in that two hundred and sixty to three hundred and thirty you know three hundred and forty dollar range if you want to break it down probably two hundred and seventy five to you know $360 once you add in taxes and you figure in shipping if you're going to be ordering this online being that they're on Shopbop you're probably going to be ordering this online another dupe not going to be like I said $20 but a good quality boot you can try out the trend enjoy the trend and you do not have to break the bank now this next one gave me a little bit of trouble and I'm going to tell you why because initially I wanted to just focus on a long trench coat or a long coat because that is definitely one of the fall 2020 fashion trends and I wanted to look at a brand like Burberry that's known for its coats its trench coats in particular the problem I was having is that I could not find a comparable dupe in terms of construction material quality um, etc when I did find comparable dupes they were still pretty expensive for the purpose of this video and what I wanted to showcase so they would still be like 600 700 800 dollars whereas you know a Burberry trench coat can run you God from three thousand dollars to nine thousand dollars depending on material the cut you know etc so what I did was instead I just focused on a leather trench because I thought I can find a leather trench that's made of good quality leather, well constructed, and I can show case the difference in terms of price point. I scooted my little happy self on over to the Burberry site. I found a leather trench coat that they offer. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is back to the point I made earlier in the video. Some things cannot be duplicated because they are simply of a better quality um, or a better material and those things tend to cost money or the craftsmanship is so well done that you're going to have to pay for those man hours. So I get it. But again, we can find something comparable. The trench is 100% calf leather. The entire thing is calf leather. So that's what you're paying for as well as the Burberry craftsmanship. So this was $5,900. So basically $6,000. This is, so maybe he does knock off high-end designers too much. I don't know. However, this is a leather trench coat. It's black, so it's going to be something that's going to be versatile. It's obviously well-made. It's leather. So this one is 100% leather. It is $520. And I know that's still a little bit higher than the price points I spoke about earlier, but I included it because, one, Michael Kors has a VIP vip program where a lot of times you can get 25 percent off and when i say a lot of times a lot of times like they send me coupons and promotions i would say two to three times a month they also offer something very similar to like a klarna or quad pay it might be quad pay where you can break down your purchase into four equal installment payments that are interest free i'm a fan of that i offer it on my own website curatedcloset.com and i think it's a great option for someone who would want to purchase something that costs 520 dollars plus shipping plus tax 
but may not want to take the full brunt of that all at one time. So that's why I still included this, but you can see the price difference. You're talking about $500 versus $5,900. Composition is nice. The materials are good materials, hundred percent leather and the trend itself, the cut of the jacket is very nice. It lays nicely. It's very pretty. It's belted. It's in a color like black. So you're going to get a lot of wear out of it, even beyond the trend, but it captures the essence of what makes a jacket like the Burberry one so beautiful. So I'm going to be honest, this one I'm probably most excited about because I feel like it is the closest dupe that I found while I was researching and getting ready to do this video. It looks almost exactly the same, almost. And I hate when people do dupes videos and it's like, girl, that don't look nothing like the original, like nothing. It may like be like the same color. So I hate that. But this one, this one, this a good one. This is sunglasses. The original we're going to look at the designer version is going to be the Louis Vuitton. What's the name of these? I don't know the name, but it's the Louis Vuitton sunglasses. It's the Louis Vuitton sunglasses that are really on trend. I think right now kind of overstated, oversized. I want to say almost like 60s style is trending 60s and 70s style, very well constructed shoulder pads, you know, oversized glasses is in right now. So I love these sunglasses a lot. They are absolutely beautiful. I think they're trendy and on point. I would absolutely buy them and wear them to death. They have hundred percent UV protection. They're made of acetate and metal and they are $745. When it comes to things like accessories, costume, jewelry, costume, jewelry, and um, sunglasses in particular. I know a lot of times people don't like to spend too much because sunglasses is one of those accessories, honestly, that you throw around, you sit on, you could lose. Yes, you can be careful. Yes, I have designer sunglasses that I'm very careful with, but at the same time, I know that it's one of the items that in terms of priority, people probably rate very low when it comes to, would you buy a designer version of this item? What I found was this Tory Burch pair of sunglasses, which I think is a great dupe. These sunglasses are made of acetate and molded plastic, which remember that the Louis Vuitton ones were made of acetate and metal. So these probably are going to be lighter in weight, which is not um, a bad thing when it comes to sunglasses. These are $200. So you're talking about $745 versus $200. And when you look at these, you cannot tell me that they are not almost spot on in terms of the trend itself, capturing the essence of that trend, the shape of the glasses, the look of them, the vibe that they give, they are very, very close. And I think this is a great dupe and probably the best example of what it is that I'm trying to showcase in this video. The other thing about Tory Burch that I like is kind of similarly to Michael Kors, they offer discounts. They have sales events, like they're having the fall sales event right now. There will be items that are excluded from different discounts, promotions, and events. These sunglasses in particular are not included in the current fall promotion that they have running right now. But I get coupons constantly for, from them. I'm on their email list. I mean, if you buy something, I think over $300, you always get that like $50 off your next purchase coupon. So keep those things in mind um, when you're looking at the price difference, because essentially you may be able to get, I would probably very easily be able to get these glasses for 150. So you're talking about 150 versus 750. Huge difference for a very, very similar look. And you're also not going to be spending so much money on something that is a trend. And that might not be something you get a lot aware of, might not be as popular next season, etc. And if I didn't say it already, everything that I mentioned is going to be linked down below. The high-end designer versions, versions, the high-end designer items, as well as these items that I have highlighted as dupes will all be down in the description box. So make sure you check the description box. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Just tell me if you would purchase any of these items, which one, which ones you like the best. And if you like this type of video so that I'll know whether or not to continue making these and bringing you more content like this, remember to live well and look good doing it. And until next time, y'all, Bye.